Yo, nerdlings. What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for the wizarding world? Hey, nerdlings. It's Jaspie from Nerdy Blazing Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Welcome to Lady Lacey's toy room. And it is time, because we have the robes on, to look at another wizarding world crate, box, whatever these Something. things are. I'm sure they have like some wizard word that doesn't really match with muggle words. Relive the excitement of acclaimed British thespians yelling nonsense. Volate ascendere! Rubius Hagrid. Avada Kedavra. Felix Felicis. Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. This is not a monthly box. No, this is a bi-monthly box. So you get it every two months. Right. Eh, mostly most of the time <laughs> they've been very much behind a lot lately they were behind prior to the pandemic and then they blame the pandemic and now i just mm. don't know what Deliver. although to be fair to their credit we've had this one for about a month yes and it's just kind of been sitting around waiting on us this time because yes. it is convention season as we're filming this so there's kind of a lot of other things going on right now so it's time to dive into this at All long right. last. Well, it has been such a long time. I have no idea what the theme is. So let's see what the card says. Okay, so there's no card. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> it's a make your own theme, I guess. Well, let's pull the button and see if that helps. Okay. Button, button, who's got the button? Now, the fun thing about the buttons is for a while, they were kind of doing like various themes. They did some Horcruxes. He should have simply made the Nokia mobile phones as Horcruxes. Harry and his friends would have worked their ass off, but would have never achieved success. Lately, they've been doing the buildings. Yes, so let's see if they're still doing buildings. So you want to guess what building you think it is? Uh, no, because I don't even remember don't what remember buildings either. we have. We got Ollivanders. If you've watched the Harry Potter and the Proposal video from way back in the day, I got proposed to in Ollivander's, and Ollivander helped this man right here give me a ring and propose. That's true. Totally. And I said yes. I totally rigged that show. Some child could have had a priceless memory forever, and instead, <laughs> I stole it. Hey, I got a priceless memory. <laughs> fun pin because it is kind of fun having the buildings because you can set them up yes. in like a little cityscape. So there we go. And, and it's, it's pre-blown up. <laughs> That's good. I was going to say, and it's all Ollivander, so it has exactly. some kind of connection to us. Perfect. Yay! Good. All right, so the next thing we have in here is like an aluminum metal sign that says Hogwarts Express. And I'm guessing maybe that's the train number or something. And then you also get a little thing to display it on. <laughs> well, I guess tins are the new, uh, what were they, the Franklin Mint Company, the plates? Yeah, Is that I what guess they were? so, yeah. <laughs> okay, but I mean, as far as like a fun display piece, this is great, you know, mm -hmm. something like this. If you have a shelf full of, uh, you know, like Harry Potter, Wizarding World memorabilia, mm -hmm. this is like that perfect piece to kind of put in the back. And you put some things in front of it. You know, it's kind of low key. The, um, do you think the coloring is to match your house, which is? Hufflepuff. Probably. I would imagine so. Since it's all yellow, I would guess so. Yes. Okay, so the next thing in the box is we have, looks like Hedwig with a letter. And it says, waiting for my letters from Hogwarts. And then it's got a little drawer in here. So we've got some envelopes and some house cards. So since I'm Hufflepuff, all of the cards are Hufflepuff. And they are blank on the inside. Then there's a yellow pencil. Interesting. I don't know when I've seen a yellow pencil like yeah like the, the lead is colored like pencils yeah yeah but this is like a regular pencil yeah so i can write all of my letters so you can't see them because yellow <laughs> <laughs> that's true and then to seal up the envelopes we have wax seals 
Oh, clever. That's, that's, that's kind of clever. We often chide boxes for stationary sets because it's like, oh, look, it's a notebook, it's a pen. This one, this is actually pretty clever. Some thought went into this one. Mm -hmm. well, because you've got the envelopes, you've got the cards, you've got multiples to use. Obviously, writing utensil, everything comes in a nice box and you can even seal it up. As far as stationary stuff goes, that's that's actually pretty neat. This it's, is really cool. It is reusable, too, if you use all those up. But the only problem is, in this day and age, no one sends cards. We send emails. Hello, Jane. Hi, Julian. I see you have your computer linked to the telephone line. Can you tell us how you did that? Yes, well, it's very simple, really. OK, so the next item in here, we have a bag. It's a cross-body letter bag. So it does look like a letter with Hedwig on the front of it. And there is a strap inside, so you have like one main body. And then a smaller little one, maybe for a cell phone or sunglasses or something. Like after you write all of your letters, you put them in this bag. Not only did you write someone a letter, but you go and hand deliver it to them. But it is addressed to Harry Potter, the cupboard under the stairs, number four, private drive, little whinging Siri. Well, yes, sir. It's Harry Potter here, sir. Today we're going to do Wingardium Leviosa and Alohomora. I've never met Hamora, but I have been told she's very nice. I'm sure that future Tom's doing a fantastic job with some B-roll and showing you a couple of things that could fit in there. Maybe a cell phone telephone can fit in there. Maybe a Nintendo Switch can fit in there. Maybe a book can fit in there. Hey, you're welcome, future Tom. I've spent every dime you've saved. That's my bag, baby, yeah. The last thing we have in here is a t-shirt. So it looks like we have everything on here that protected the Philosopher's Stone. You've got Fluffy, you've got the um, Devil's Snare, you have the winged keys, the chess game, and then the mirror of Erisette. Oh, that's kind of neat. It's really cool, actually. It's very subtle. I like subtle. Yeah, we always like yeah. the really subtle shirts that, you know, you have to be a fan to pick up on. And it's like, oh, hey, is that a such and such and shirt? It's, it's a nice, like, kind of shiny silver on a navy top. Yeah, I'm not a fan of long sleeve t-shirts, but that's because I get hot all the time, so I don't like long sleeve t-shirts. But, you know, some people like them. All right, well, nerdlings, why don't you hop aboard the Hogwarts Express? Pulling out of the station, mind the gap. In, in other, like, British terms for trains and stuff. <laughs> okay, so, long sleeve shirt. Oh, wow, they, uh... They got some long sleeves on that yeah, they, too. Well, I mean, I'm you're kind of little, so. I'm kind of short, <laughs> so. Yeah, not too bad. It's just a very typical cotton blend. I mean, not too soft, not too rough. So. Do you feel like it would be too warm to wear, or is it kind of one of those comfy shirts where you could still wear it and not get overheated? Depends on where I am. <laughs> I feel like if it's a nice crisp day outside. Might be okay without a jacket on. So, good printing. Yeah. Hands off the merchandise! It's not anything that seems like it's going to flake, uh, especially like with those larger designs on shirts, yeah. you always have to worry about that. But with this being very subtle, maybe not even such a big deal to think about at all. Nope, not too bad. All right, well, last of all, anything inside the box. Sometimes they like to put a little something fun in there. We got Hogwarts. And all the kids on the boats getting on, getting ready to go get sorted. Lovely. Okay, well, uh, I have no idea what the yeah, theme would be. Yeah, I don't know if it, if it matched. <laughs> so, maybe back to Hogwarts? Uh, maybe, I mean, makes sense. You know, got a, you got a jumper, you got your bag, you got your stationery, uh, you got to go buy Ollivanders, you know, to get your wand yeah. and everything. The, and you're taking the train. So, yeah, uh, let's call it back to school we'll back, back to, back Hogwarts. to Hogwarts. So that's perfect. Favorite item? Probably the bag because I'm a bag the lady. Bag? Okay, I am fair enough. obsessed with bags. I have so many bags that I've never even used some of them but I still <laughs> buy them because I don't know why. <laughs> Any particular item that you know maybe you would say don't send that. I didn't need that. Stationary. The stationary. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Well, <laughs> looks like we are back in the waiting game because even though it took us a while to open this, they still didn't send another box. So, yes. 
I we'll see. We'll I need see. to get on the website and see how many I'm actually behind. <laughs> well, nerdlings, now is your chance to leave some comments down below. Hey, if you have some stationery yourself, feel free to send those comments in the mail. We'll get them six to eight weeks from now. And uh, <laughs> let us know what you thought of any of this. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Hit that notification bell to find out when Lady Lacey ever gets her next box. And of course, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. And if we like it, nerdlings. We nerd it. Just maybe not always for long sleeve shirts. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go get a wizard pizza and see if I can cut it with this thing. Probably could. Bye, nerdlings. Scoot that. Scoot it. Uh, I'm not touching anything because stuff falls and it breaks whenever I touch it in your room. Until you clean your room up. I know. There's no place to go. You heard it here first. Her room's a mess. Ooh, ooh, ooh. YouTube face. Big eyes. <laughs> Open mouth. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> Arrows. Put them everywhere. <laughs> that looks like my teeth. Just a little. It's like up on it. There we go. There you go. It's a uh, careful. Not sharp. Ow. 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 Want to do a little peekaboo shot for the bloopers? <laughs> nope. That was not a good way to grab that. My toe! My toe!